Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is somewhere in the region now of about take 600 billion um, and I have made an absolute hash of it. So I'm just going to go straight ahead now and just admit that this probably won't work out the way I was expecting it to. This was just a simple gameplay <laughs> and it's gone into the realm of stupidity now. Now what I will do is I will not introduce this game because <laughs> if you don't know what this game is then you need to crawl out of the you know from underneath the rock that you was under and um, you know start playing games and um, this game is truthfully what it's all about for me it just symbolizes what made games what they are it's basically one of those kind of milestone type of games in my opinion it's kind of one of those eureka moments that somebody had and it's just become the thing of legends um, this game this incarnation of the game <laughs> the game I'll, you know the game that I'm probably not going to name no I will name it but the name of this game obviously we all know asteroids the reason that I'm a bit stuttery more than usual and the reason that I'm having a bit of an hard time sort of doing a video on it um, in terms of takes and so forth is because um, this is game is a bit of a well have you ever seen the modern Gone in 60 Seconds if you've ever seen the film Gone in 60 Seconds you'll know that um, there is a scene in it where Nicolas Cage's character is having a bit of a spiritual moment with um, one of the cars and one of the cars that he happens to name Eleanor because it is kind of like his Achilles heel. Um, it's a car that, although he loves to drive it and although he gets a lot out of it, it's been a bit of a bad luck kind of thing for him. Uh, he's always gotten caught in an Eleanor, <laughs> so to speak. Um, for me, this game, this particular incarnation of the game, which is on the 7800, is very much an Eleanor moment for me. Um, it's a game that I love on any format, you know, just give me a conversion of asteroids, I'll play it and I'll be quite happy, thank you very much. However, this version, it's kind of a bit of sweet kind of thing. Um, I remember, um, I remember going through tough times fairly recently and this game was kind of part of that, it was kind of involved in that. And, um, to look on it now, it's just, you know, to, to me, it's this particular version of the game is a little bit more than just a game. It's kind of like, a, it's part of a sequence of events. So to play it, it's kind of one of those things where I can't just do a, I can't just do a regular video on it. I can't just do like a normal, normal gameplay on it without spectacularly missing the point for myself. But having said all of that, guys... It is, at the, at the end of the day, whichever way you slice it, it's Asteroids. And bloody hell, Asteroids is great. So this version of the game has got pretty smart graphics. And it's actually built into the 7800, which is what I'm playing it on. Um, in case I didn't mention that already. And um, for that reason, it's pretty cool. Um, so I've not got anything plugged into the 7800 at the moment. And this version... It's pretty nice, um, you know. It's got a few game modes in there, not many, like, but you know, a few different difficulty settings, that kind of thing. And there's a two-player option, so it's all very nice and stuff, and it plays very well. You know, it plays very accurately. Um, it's not absolutely perfect because at the end of the day, we all know asteroids is vectors and what have you. But the graphics that are on display here are very impressive. Um, for what the system is capable of and it's just really refreshing to be able to be able to play this type of game you know to be able to play this game um, the way you know th th this way basically the 2600 version is fantastic it is a great game but it is at the end of the day it is a bit simplistic in comparison to other versions this version is technically a little bit more accomplished, obviously, because it's running on 7800, but 
Um, it's just a little bit nicer. Um, and it brings back a lot of memories for me. Even just fairly recently, you know. So, for me, it's a machine, it's a game, sorry, and it's an experience that is a little bit more than the norm. Um, to do a gameplay video on it, it was always going to be a bit of a miss for me. So I apologise if this is a bit more dumb than usual, a bit more dumber than usual. Um, it's just, it's difficult to think of words that can describe it adequately in terms of how it, you know, how it makes me feel and what it gives me. It's a mixture of things really. And it's nice to come back to, I haven't played on it for a while, so it's nice to revisit it. And as I say guys, I've been trying to, I've done a few different takes trying to, you know, this sort of describe it and describe what it does for me. It's a game that reminds me a lot of my fairly recent past. Um, good and bad things. And it's just nice to be able to come back to it. I mean, I haven't played on it for a while. And I'm just coming back to it and I'm thinking, well, it's brilliant. You know, it's just a nice little version of Asteroids. You know, it's not life altering It's not going to change worlds or anything like that. But it is very acceptable and it's definitely worth having a quick bash on every now and again now I'm not going to bore you with it you know with it too much but I will say to you guys that um, if you've got a 7800 and yeah if you've got yeah I mean if you've got 7800 the likelihood is you've probably got this built in anyway but um, although it's unoriginal it's definitely a nice version and it's definitely worth Playing, picking up, whatever. So it's definitely worth a look at. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call that a video. I just really wanted to do a really quick sort of demo of it. Um, because, truthfully, guys, I'm getting back into 7800. I'm getting back into the gameplay. I'm, you know, of there's a couple of games that I really want to come back to on the 7800 because I haven't played on them properly and I'm going to do uh, gameplays of those for you as well um, but I'll save that for later truthfully guys I'm sorry if I've been a bit rambly on this one um, probably haven't really done myself any favours in terms of the editorial aspect of the video but at the same time um, it's a pretty nostalgic game for me and I just wondered guys um, you know what is nostalgia for you in terms of gaming have you got a game maybe like asteroids is asteroids something that you come back to do you enjoy the game have you got any games that kind of match this in terms of something that literally stops you in your tracks and and, and makes you think about the past makes you think about who you are as a person um maybe that's over egging it a bit but this game definitely it makes me question a lot of things and it makes me think a lot of, but about, you know, about me as a person and about my life. And I'm just wondering if any game has ever invoked that quality in yourselves. Um, let me know in the comments and um, let me know your feel, thoughts and feelings. And have I rambled on too much? Have I, <laughs> have I bored you to death with this one? Let me know. I'm definitely uploading this as is. Um, I don't feel that... Um, I should do another take, not least because I've done that many. I just think that this is who I am, and I think that this is what I should be uploading. Um, so if it is a bit rambly, guys, I apologise for that. But basically, you've got a nice little look-see at a game which I think is worth looking at. It's worth your consideration. It's definitely something that's given me, you know, a lot of pleasure to, today. You know that you know I've been enjoying it sort of on and off for a while. So. It's definitely something that I'm getting a kick out of at the moment. So, yeah, there you go. Right, guys, I'm going to end the video there because it is, you know, even from my, by my standards, this is a bit rambling. But, yeah, I just wanted to know, guys, tell me about you. Tell me about your games. Um, and tell me about stuff that gives you, you know, that feeling of, you know, of discovery you know tell, tell me if a game has ever made you question yourself and made you think about who you are and the past and all that kind of stuff 
All right. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there because, yeah, I'm going crazy now. But have a good one. See you on the next vid. All right. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.